Netflix bet a ton on The Witcher because the books and the games are so popular, they figured putting out a TV series would be an easy way to make money, and while season one garnered a ton of interest, season two was much more controversial, and the future of Netflix's Witcher is looking pretty grim, and now that part of season three is out, audiences are completely rejecting it. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. Now, of course, the controversy surrounding Witcher Season 3 is a slew of different issues, writing, CGI, set pieces. And then you have Henry Cavill, but I wanted to start off with the Screen Rant article. Why The Witcher Season 3's Rotten Tomatoes audience score is so bad, it's not just Henry Cavill leaving, and it's not. It is definitely a major reason why people are kind of rejecting The Witcher Season 3, but unfortunately, they didn't do good with this season either, at least so far, right? They split it into two parts. We've got five episodes right now. In a month, we're getting the last three, so maybe they'll magically turn it around, I don't think so. I don't see a way they're going to do that, just because there are fundamental issues here. But it says the first half of The Witcher Season 3 has finally arrived at Netflix. However, this latest installment of the video game adaptation isn't doing nearly as well as its predecessors, and surprisingly, it has more problems to it than just the lead actor leaving. The Witcher is a fantasy series created by Netflix and based on the video game and book series. Uh, but it says since its first season in 2019, The Witcher has performed well critically and for audiences. After The Witcher Season 1, the series earned an impressive 89% Rotten Tomato score from audiences. However, Season 2 saw a drastic fall to 58%, and now The Witcher Season 3's audience score has tanked to an all-time low of 49%. Now, it is important to keep in mind a few things here when you're looking at these scores. So yes, Season 1 one has an impressive 89%. Season 1 was pretty good. While it did still stray a bit from source material and people did have some issues with like the three timelines, I thought that it was still a pretty good season and I didn't think that it was a bad start to an ongoing show in this universe. But season 2 also strayed farther away from the source material. The outfits were worse. Uh, you know, the sets were definitely not as good. And yes, it did end up dropping to a 58%, but it wasn't that low until after we found out that Henry Cavill was leaving the show. He was no longer going to be playing Geralt. It was up to like a 75 to an 80, I remember, when, uh, you know, season two had initially released. So it has tanked quite a bit from people just review bombing it, you know, voicing how unhappy they are with the situation. And now I think that part of that is Witcher uh, season three's issue. I do think that there are people who are, of course, you know, upset because Henry Cavill is quitting and the audience score is a bit lower than it would have been if, say, we didn't know he was leaving for season four. I think that this season would probably be up to like a 65, but Honestly, that's not much better. It says, of course, the most obvious and major reason for the drop so intensely this season is because he is leaving The Witcher. Then you also have other big problems beyond Henry Cavill. The other significant problem The Witcher faces in season three and throughout its overall run is inaccuracy to source material. As previously mentioned, The Witcher is originally based on a series of Polish fantasy novels, and though the series makes an effort to stay true to these books, every season seems to veer farther and farther 
farther away from its primary source. And this is another reason why people are so upset about Cavill leaving is because we have heard from, you know, Siri and Yen's actresses that he is like a witcher Bible on set. He is constantly going through the books. He's constantly mentioning scenes they should play out or lines of dialogue the character should say. Little, uh, you know, Easter eggs for fans of the original material. And without him, it's just going to feel even more hollow than it already does. It says The Witcher Season 2 is a specifically difficult season for fans who dislike so many book-to-show changes. One example is Yennefer's Season 2 plot. Despite being one of the most powerful characters in The Witcher, she loses her powers in Season 2, leaving her without a clear plot or goal. Worse, she considers sacrificing Ciri to regain her magic, and she actually goes on the quest to sacrifice Ciri, which is just so awful because Yennefer would have never done these things. Yennefer was like first and foremost dedicated to Geralt. She cared about Geralt. Seeing how much Ciri meant to him meant she would have never done that, but also the plot of her losing her powers was just stupid, and to me it almost came across as they were trying to girl boss her, that they wanted her to be, you know, at the bottom of the barrel. She has no power. She has no motivations besides getting those back. And she had to, you know, use her wits and her charm to overcome this difficulty. And it just didn't feel like anything uh, Andre would have written for these characters. Uh, but you know, this is what they decided to do. The people at Netflix that are the executive producers and the directors of this show were given the greenlit and they released it and it didn't work for them in neither season three so far. Uh, as you can see, the critics actually kind of liked this season. I don't really know why. All Critic is an 84. Top Critic is a 100%. Now, keep in mind that is with only eight Top Critic reviews, but this season and this show in general does not deserve even close to 100%, but audiences are feeling very different at a 44. And, of course, taking a look over on the official Witcher Twitter account, they are getting destroyed by people who are saying, you know, this season is just not good, we are disappointed in you for not finding a way to bring Cavill back, all of these different things. This is one of their newest posts. It's also one of their pinned tweets. It says, if uh, there's one thing Geralt can do, it's slay. Witcher Season 3 Volume 1 now streaming. And people in the comments are, of course, saying things like, uh, you know, this just isn't it. You went woke and I'm not pleased. If there's one thing the showrunners can do, it is to screw up. Uh, people with, you know, pile of shit memes. What a mess this is. So I guess we will not get Yaskir and Priscilla. No wonder Cavill is leaving this train wreck. One seat season three is over. I'm done. These writers can't get anything right. And this is kind of the way that I feel is that I uh, have watched the first five episodes. I'm going to watch the last three in order to support Cavill. Um, but I just don't think that I'm going to stick around for season four. I love the Witcher books. I love the Witcher video games. I think that this, you know, franchise in general is amazing. Um, but I do think that Geralt and, you know, Cavill's version of Geralt do hold it together. Cavill is the glue on this project. And without him, you know, I, I still think that Yennefer and series actresses are very good. I think that Yaskir's actor is very good, but I just don't think that it's going to be the same, at least for me. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to really entertain the idea of season four, at least for now. Maybe in, you know, two years when they're finally showing it off, the teasers and trailers will look great. And maybe Liam Hemsworth will do a great job as Geralt, but it's still not going to be the same without Cavill. And clearly, you know, many fans are, you know, revolting against Netflix and the the continuation of this series in totality. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.